Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Five transfers to win the title under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm not joking, I'm about to give you an algorithm that will get you hot in, in, in whatever way you want. Because I genuinely believe that Manchester United can do five transfers this summer that will put us into the area where we can genuinely, not ten, look, win the title is very difficult, but definitely go into that area where we can be title contenders come March, April instead of January. And, and it can be done. And you don't need the best director of football in the world. We've got the we've got the volume of players to do it. We've got the budget to do it, and we've got the targets that are achievable to do it. So we're going to go through that today. Five transfers Solskjaer can do this summer. That and that's it. Five. And 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 they might not all be ins. They might not all be outs. So it's five transfers. Now what we do know about United is that their budget is around a hundred million pounds. It might be more. It might be less. But we've got a hundred million pounds. I will do five transfers with a net spend of £100 million that will turn this club into potential title contenders. And it's going to happen right here in front of your eyes. And I haven't got a magic magic wand. I'm not Harry Potter. Um, I'm, I'm Mark Goldbridge on the United Stand and we're going to do it. So the first signing is the obvious signing that we know is going to happen. His name is Jaden Sancho. I, I should have had a song there. His name is Jaden Sancho. He's coming home from Dortmund. Da 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 The Sancho family. Da 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 Da, 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 da. Anyway, he's number one. Sancho is the number one transfer target for Manchester United, and he's the number one transfer in our five transfers to be title contenders. Eighty million pounds, Jaden Sancho. Anything more, you're going to eat into your budget. Anything less, you give yourself a little bit back. So let's say eighty million pounds for Jaden Sancho. We do need a right winger. It's not a priority for me, but we do need one um, because he can play off the left. He can also play number ten. I mean, imagine if Van der Beek got injured, Bruno got injured, Pog believes. You could play Jaden Sancho where Bruno plays and people don't think about that. If Rashford has a load of injury problems, he can play off the left, he can play Diallo off the right. People are getting their knickers in a twist about, oh, what's going to happen with Diallo? What's going to happen with Greenwood? Greenwood can play up front off the right. Diallo can play left, right and false nine and Sancho can do the same. So, you know, panicking about what's going to happen to Diallo, it'll be fine. I think Jaden Sancho is the sort of player that United should have got a year ago. I'm very happy that we've got Diallo. 80 million for Sancho. Let's go. So that's number one. Uh, and that will happen, I think. So we've spent 80 million pounds there. Number two, Rafael Varane, centre-back. Number one target for Manchester United. So we're not, you know, I, this five transfers to being title contenders, by the way, is not pie in the sky, make-believe, fantasy road, um... Uh, what do you call it? Candy floss clouds. It's raining cherry aid. You know, chocolate doorknobs. You know, this is not Fantasy Avenue. This is Reality Avenue. We can do this with the right level of speed and efficiency in the transfer market. So, eighty million on Sancho. Varane from Real Madrid is looking to leave Real Madrid. Is only got R is has only got one year left on his contract. At Real Madrid, 28 years of age, in his prime, three times Champions League winner, World Cup winner, could be Euros winner in the next few weeks, uh, right at the top of his game. I mean, look, I admit over the last year or so, he's not been at his best, but he's 28. He's not on the decline. He's probably just a little bit stale at Real Madrid. He's still one of the top five centre-backs in the world. Have we got two of the top five centre-backs in the world? No. Have we got one of the best centre-backs in the world? No. Is Harry Maguire a very good centre-back? Yes. Where does Harry Maguire rank in centre-backs? You tell me in the comments. I would say Harry Maguire can be a top 10 centre-back in the world. He's not quite there at the moment. and I think we bought him. And people are going to laugh at me and clip that. But look, Man United bought Harry Maguire as one of the top 10 centre-backs in the world. At that time, his, his, his stock was high. Not 80 million high, but he was. Get Harry Maguire with a top class centre back. We're happy. And also, how can you t how can you say you don't want Varane when he is one of the top five centre backs in the world? So of course we do. Price. It's all about the price tag, says Jesse J. It's all about the price tag. Forget about the price tag. I'm not forgetting about the price tag. The price tag is forty million. Oh, you're wrong, Mark. You're wrong. I'm right. It's forty million because he's got one year left on his contract, and. He is um, the same as Paul Pogba. You could swap Pogba for Varane. I'm not doing that, by the way. That's not one of these. I'm not. I'm, I'm, Pogba's not part of this. Varane, 40 million quid. That's what he's worth with one year left on his contract. He's a contract. He's a centre back. And what you got to do with Varane? Varane's got to say adios to uh, Real Madrid. I'm leaving. And then Real Madrid have got to decide who they're going to sell to. And the price should not be going up and down. It should be 40 million quid. There are alternatives for Varane. You should be getting Torres for 40 million. 
Kunde probably a little bit more, but I'm saying 40 million for Varane. That's 120 million pounds spent so far. Remember where I, th I think our budget's around 100 million. It might be a little bit more, but 120 million pounds spent and we've got a centre back and Sancho. Now, number three is going to blow your mind. His name is Denis Sakaria. He plays for Switzerland. He's in these Euros. You're going to get to see more of him. 24 years of age, uh, uh, midfielder, uh, currently uh, at uh, Mönchengladbach in, in uh, the Bundesliga. A lot of you know about uh, Zakaria, but I think Zakaria, because he had the knee injury, people are forgetting about him. Um, Pep likes him. A lot of clubs like him. One year left on his contract. One year left on his contract. And on top of that, absolutely at the peak of his powers going into his peak years. He's 24. He's going into his mid-20s. He can play centre-back. Basically, if you don't know what Zakari is all about, check him out playing for Switzerland. But basically, he can play as a centre-back, mainly as a centre-defensive midfielder. And his job is passing lanes. His job is tackling. And he's bloody good at it. He's mobile, he's good at tackling, and he's good on the ball. Tell me what's not to like about a player like that. Now, the question mark is, can he come from the Bundesliga and impose himself on the Premier League? And some people think that it's hard to come from the Bundesliga to the Premier League. In fact, you probably have more chance of coming from the French League to the Premier League and doing well, even though the French League isn't as good as the Bundesliga. So that would be the question mark. But with one year, with one year left on his contract and the attributes that he has, he literally is the sort of player that we should be looking at. And I like Declan Rice, I really do. But you're going to get Zakaria for between 30 and £40 million. Pounds. He's got one year left on his contract. He's exactly what we need. I've been thinking about this and there are other candidates, but I think he is absolutely perfect. Now, the sad thing is this is a theory. This is a theory signing. Man United aren't looking at Dennis Sicaria. There's, 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 no, there's no mention of it. Well, they admire Declan Rice. Oh, look at Harry Winks. But there is absolutely no looking at Sakaria in Germany, which is a shame because if he has a good Euros, I could see him going to bloody Arsenal. Arsenal seem to buy the players that we should buy. Um, I like him. And I think that, yeah, people talk about Cup Miners. They talk about Basuma. And I do like Basuma. And I will bring Basuma in here. I very nearly put Basuma in here because I think Basuma probably, Zakaria, Basuma's probably a little bit more because he's Premier League proven. The, the, the fear about Zakaria is... Can he do it in the Premier League? How bad's that knee injury? Is he fully over it? Well, I think he's over the knee injury. Can he do it in the Premier League? Basuma, yes, he can. He's, he's, I can. We, oui, we, oui, I can. Because he's French, isn't he? Basuma. I think he's French. Um, but he's definitely plays for Brighton. He's done fantastically well. Roughly the same age as Zakaria. And roughly the same sort of profile. Probably a little bit more attacking than Zakaria. Because Zakaria is a bit more defensive, although his passing's good. But Basuma can do that role. And again, you're talking between 30 and 40 million. So for me, Zakaria or Basuma, they solve the CDM problem. And they do it for a relatively cheap price at 30 to 40 million pounds. So I've spent 80 on Sancho. I've spent um, 40 on Varane. And I've spent, you know, let's say 35. Oh, let's be generous. Let's say, let's say, let's say Varane's 45 and, uh, um, you know, we get, um, we get, yeah, let's say Varane 45 then. Because it's, you know, that's more reasonable, I suppose. And let's say Zakaria is 35. That's still 80. So 160 million I've spent. But Mark, I hear you say, I don't, I'm making it up. Mark, I hear you say, you said you were only going to spend £100 million and you're on transfer three. But I didn't say they're all going to be ins. So I spent £160 million on Zakaria for 35, Varane for 45 and Sancho for 80. I've got as a centre-back, a CDM and a right winger and I'm happy. But it gets better. It get, It's getting better, man. It's going to get better because I'm going to start bringing that net spend down. 160 Bring it down. It's down to 140. It's up down to 135. Because I've just sold Jesse Lingard for 25 million. Now he might go for 20. I think we'll get 25 million. I've just brought it down from 160 to 135 by selling Jesse Lingard, who with one year left on his deal and at 28 years of age is comfortably worth 25 million quid. We might sell him for less. We'd be bloody idiots. There's more than one team that wants Jesse Lingard. Leicester like him, West Ham wants him, 25 million for Jesse Lingard with one year left on his deal. He was one of the Premier League's best number 10s in the last six months of the season. He is 28 in his prime. He will be a very, very good asset wherever he goes. At United, he can't stay at United. You can't stay at United, Jesse. You're just going to be on the bench. You were that close to going to the Euros. The World Cup is in just over a year. The World Cup is a year at Christmas, 18 months. You need to go and play first team football and you'll go to that World Cup. You stay at United, 
Forget about it. So, and also for your career, Jesse. I mean, you were winning Premier League Player of the Month. You're never going to do that sat on the bench, cameoing under Ollie, And, and he, he doesn't even know what the word substitute you means. So Lingard, for his career, needs to go. United, for their wallet, need to sell. And Lingard, for £25 million, brings some money back in. So £25 million off £160 million brings us down to £135 million. But it doesn't end there. Because you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to get that net spend down below 100 million. I'm going to get it down to 95 million. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell a keeper. Now, I've put Dean Henderson there. Um, and this is nothing to do with Dean Henderson or De Gea. I'm not like, oh, let's keep De Gea and sell Henderson. I am that. I would keep De Gea over Henderson. And the reason is very easy. Both fantastic goalkeepers. I don't like the whole Henderson versus De Gea thing. They're both fantastic goalkeepers. I'd stick with De Gea because I think Henderson's a bit of a risk. I think it's risky to put a lad who's never played in front of an Old Trafford crowd in a United shirt as number one and say, you go, you go, mate. What if we start the season with Zakaria, Varane and Sancho and we have a really good season, but we don't win the league because Henderson makes a load of mistakes? We'll all sit there and go, Oli, you got to go, mate, because if you'd stayed with De Gea, we had an experienced keeper, we would have won the league. Can you afford to take that risk? And for me, look, Henderson might be the reason we win the league. He might be, but I would just stick with the more experienced the goalkeeper, which is De Gea for me. But also, we're not talking about that. If we sell De Gea, if we sell Henderson, I think they'll go for the same price. So that easily could be De Gea. The reason I've gone with Henderson is I think he's the easier player to sell. David De Gea is a bloody nightmare to sell. 350k a week, um, 40 million quid. Who's going to give us 40 million quid and then give David De Gea 18 million a year? It's never going to happen. And if we go with Henderson, you can say bye-bye to 40 million quid. Because if we go with Henderson at number one, we're going to have to loan De Gea. And we're not going to get any money because no one's going to buy De Gea. So we're going to have to loan De Gea, which means wherever David goes, whether it's Italy, France, Spain, we're going to be paying money out of our transfer budget for De Gea to go on loan. Because De Gea is on about 18 million a year. So what's that? 3 million a month, is it? No, no, it's not that. It's not. It's not. It's one and a half million a month, isn't it? So we're going to be paying about a million a month to whoever David De Gea goes instead of Henderson's easier to sell. I, you could sell Henderson tomorrow. I bet there's four or five clubs that would sign, sign, sign Dean Henderson tomorrow for 40 million quid. And that's what I think we need. We need the money. So you sell Henderson for 40 million, 95 million net spend, 80 on Sancho, 45 on Varane, 35 on Zakaria, 160 million, minus 25 from Lingard, 135 million, minus 40 million from Henderson, 95 million. And what have we lost? You've still got a really good goalkeeper. Lingard wasn't even part of the team last year. And I've got as a right winger, a centre-back and a CDM. The right winger has the potential to be one of the best players in the world. The centre-back is one of the best centre-backs in the world. And the midfielder, well, look, let's see what happens with him. But he's better than anything we've got and he's a specialist. How can you not do that? How can Manchester United Football Club not, well, they won't be watching this, but how could they not consider that? I'm not telling, I'm not saying let's, I mean, it's not like I've sat here, I mean, everyone's got a five transfer plan to how you win the title and I want you to get in the links below. I want you to get in the chats below because it's, all, it's, it's an enjoyable puzzle to solve. Realistically, five transfers for United to get in a title race. How do you do it with a net spend of 100 million? Well, that's how you do it. And I, you know, I might be off a little bit, you know, I might be off a little bit, but actually my net spend was 95. So, all right, let's spend let's spend 50 on Varane then. 50 on Varane, you're still 100 million net spend. But what I'm saying is United want to make out like they're doing the world's hardest jigsaw puzzle. You know, it's a 10,000 piece jigsaw puzzle of a big blue sky. How are you going to do that? Very, very hard. It's not. This is painting by numbers and there's only there's only five. Paint the number one, paint the two, paint the three, paint the four, paint the five. It's done. And this can be done. Sancho's going to happen, Varane wants to leave, and Zakaria is available. And if you don't get Varane, get Torres. And if you don't get Zakaria, get Basuma. Henderson or De Gea, but Henderson's the easiest one to sell because De Gea we're not going to get any money for. And Lingard, 25 million is a fair price. It's so simple. Now, people are going to say, well, we need Trippier. People are going to say you need to sell, get rid of matter and matter. All right, okay. Maybe all those things do need to happen. But if we did that five, all the other stuff, I'd be like, well, if we do it, that's a bonus. Get those five things done. Get the right winger, the centre defensive midfielder, the centre back and get some of the money to do it. Done. Very simple. Of course, what I think United will do is United will absolutely mess this up. They'll be wandering around from one thing to another, not doing anything properly. But it is not hard. It's not hard. 
And people will say, well, why are you not doing the job? Well, because I, they won't give me the job. They won't give you the job. But what I'm saying is people try and make out that you need a bloody seven year degree to do the job that Ed Woodward and Matt Judge do. You don't. They're bankers. Their background in football is nothing. So Chelsea can go and do this sort of thing. Man City can go and do this sort of thing. Liverpool can do this sort of thing. But I think the sobering thought is that you can actually go and do this in five steps. And yeah, I think, you know, Delo, Pereira, Phil Jones, Mata, Matic, Trippier coming in. They're all background noise to me. They're all like, yeah, if that happens, that happens. But if we do this, a 95 million net spend and we've got Varane, Sancho and Zakaria. I mean, for 95 million, just go and do it. Be, And I've always said this as well. Be ruthless and aggressive. Be ruthless in what you need to get rid of to get things, make things easier. And be aggressive in going and getting what you need. And that's what United need to do. But I'm telling you now, that sort of a summer can definitely, definitely happen. But they've got to go and do it. What do I think will happen? Sancho will happen. A centre-back will happen. A CDM won't happen. We'll end up with De Gea and Henderson still here. And probably Jesse Lingard sat on the bench. Is that progress? No, it's a waste. But that will be the incompetence that this board has shown us for the last 16 years. There is, a, there is a step to being a genuine, genuine title contender. And United need to take those five steps. Will they do it? What would your five steps be? Get in the comments. What do you think of mine? Smash a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll speak to you all on the next one. But look, it's five steps and it can be done. Take care. I'll speak to you all in a bit.